The next case is a case of 88 year old male who presents to the center with bilateral knee pain. The patient states he has been plagued by knee pain at least for 40 years. The patient's history and examination confirms severe osteoarthritis of the knees. His past medical history is unremarkable and negative for any heart disease, diabetes or any other ailments. He takes no medications and both of his parents lived way over their 90s before they passed away from natural causes. This is an interesting case since it brings up an important issue regarding our aging population, the centenarians. These are the fastest growing part of our population. At this point it is estimated that there is over 50,000 centenarians in the United States and maybe about 200,000 worldwide. The majority of them are women and in 10 years it is estimated that there will be over 2 million centenarians worldwide. This is a big change from the last century when the average life expectancy was 46 years. Well you know back then, just about a century ago, around 1907, the leading causes of death were diseases such as pneumonia, diarrhea or simple infections. Now in 2007 the three leading causes of death are cancer, stroke, and heart disease. Given the advances in medicine and people starting to t take care of themselves better, such as doing preventive care, now these days reaching an age of over 100 seems not to be too difficult. And maybe in the year 2107, the leading cause of death will be aerospace accident. The point of this discussion is, aging seems to be inevitable. So one needs to look into it long term and to do it more gracefully, which requires better taking care of ourselves, especially our muscular skeleton system, which turns out to be fragile.